Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the biggest mall in Keretaru, the place where I live. In fact, this is the biggest mall in Mexico and the second biggest mall in Latin America. I have already shown a glimpse of this mall uh, in my previous videos where I showed you Liverpool but today I will take you around this mall because this is a very big mall. As you enter this is what it looks like. On the left extreme side there is Liverpool and on the right extreme side there, there is El Palacio de Hierro. That's another uh, departmental store. The main reason to show you the, uh, this mall is because when I say Mexico, many of you must be having a picture of an underdeveloped country with the poverty and things like that because that is what they show in the movies. But that's not true. Mexico is not all about uh, tacos or tortillas or poverty. It's completely opposite to what you think. And that's why I thought I will show you this mall which is there in Querétaro. Uh, this is actually just 10 minutes away from our house. So it's almost like our weekend hangout place because whenever we get bored or whenever we just want to go for a walk, we come here and walk around even though we might not shop anything, we just go around and when we get tired, we buy something to eat or we spend time as family here. As you walk in, you will see that there are lots of stands as well where they are selling caps, jewelry, things like that. And when you go inside, you will see the branded stores like Zara, Guess, Adidas, H&M and many more. This mall was opened in 2013 and we came to Kerataro in 2014. And when we came here, this mall was brand new and there were not many people uh, who used to visit this mall at that time. So it used to be very empty. But now every weekend this mall is crowded, obviously because it is one of the biggest malls and also they have great deals and sales during festivals like Christmas. And there is also a Bowen Finn coming up this November, which is like the Black Friday. And that is El Palacio de Aero. It's one of the biggest departmental stores here in Mexico. Since the mall is this big, they also have two entry and exit in the front and two entry and exit points at the back. So you can enter uh, from any side depending on from which way you're coming to this mall. And they also have parking space in the front, back, during festival seasons, you will find it really difficult to find a parking space here. So on the ground floor, there are many stores and on the first floor, there are a few stores and also some restaurants. Here I thought my husband was taking a picture, but he was taking a video. So on the first floor, you will uh, find all uh, restaurants like P.F. Chang, Chili's, California Kitchen and many other restaurants, fancy restaurants too. This is like an open restaurant here on the side. And as you walk further are the other restaurants. So here from here you can see some of the uh, restaurants and the branded stores which are there on the ground floor. When I say this is the biggest mall in Querétaro or when I say this is the second biggest mall in Latin America, we might think that this is a very expensive mall but that's not true because uh, this mall has branded and non-branded uh, stores too. So you will get all kinds of things that you want here. We lived in Mexico City for two years and Mexico City is full of malls. So I wasn't really surprised uh, when I came to Querétaro to see this mall because I did uh, see fancy malls even in Mexico City. Only thing that is different in this mall is that this is very big and you get tired walking around this mall. Mexico City has many malls but not as big as this. So after walking around for some time, we obviously were hungry and we had actually gone uh, to Antia to have our lunch. 
This is one of our favorite restaurants here in Kerataro. Obviously because it has uh, some little taste of our Indian Chinese food. After having a yummy lunch, we started walking on the other side of Anthea. This is the back side where there, you can see that there is some space for the kids to play as well. And on the third floor, there is a theatre and usually the theatres here are Cinepolis or Cinemax. And that's the place where you can take your small kids to play. Another unique feature about this mall is it's not a closed covered mall but it is kind of open so you don't feel that uh, stuffy environment inside. There are also these small stands where people are doing their individual business. So you can see that people are just uh, coming here either to have lunch or to do some shopping or just spend time with their kids here because every week they change the concept like for example the decoration changes. So it's a good place to take some pictures, go around, eat some food, do some shopping. This is inside Liverpool where you will see a lot of Mexican candies. They are kept stylishly in these closed containers. So you can see from the top what uh, things they have inside and then you can take a cover which is provided there and fill it up and go pay at the counter. In case you come in the evenings, you can also have some crepes, some donuts because there is Krispy Kreme donuts here and many other such small uh, stalls where you just can buy some snacks instead of a proper lunch. Ananya wanted to go to Chilim Balam, that is one of her favorite stores because there you she will find all sorts of gummies and some Mexican candies too. She loves to go there and buy things and that I really don't like because I feel these gummies spoil her tea but well sometimes it's fine I guess. This is also like a snack store where you can buy different snacks like nachos, chips or some soft drinks. And that's what Ananya ended up buying. Next to Chilimbalam, there is also a food court where you can go and have your lunch uh, because not everyone wants to go to a fancy restaurant. In fact, 
even we when we go on weekends for shopping or to get something we usually go to this food court and uh, buy lunch you can see that there is burger king mcdonald's and there is enough space for families to sit and enjoy their food too So after spending a couple of hours in Anthea, we decided to go back home. So this is the uh, other side of the parking where we exit. You can exit from the place where we entered also, but for us this side takes us home. So you can see the space they have for parking here too. So I hope this video gave you a clear picture that Mexico is not a poor country. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one. Until then, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.